Good day, mga mahal, my fellow God's beloved. It's a wonderful day once again today. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, Lord, and we glorify you. Oh, God, you are worthy of glory and honor and praise. Father, you are so good, Lord. You are so awesome. You are so wonderful, Lord. Hallelujah. Today we acknowledge your presence once again, O oh Father, as we continue to read your love letter for us today. Hallelujah. Father God, we welcome you, precious Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus, the name above all names, Amen, as we continue to read your love letter the bible of course and today hallelujah lord we will be continue on reading the book of first timothy in the bible oh yeah no <laughs> sorry for that it is second timothy now yep we just finished reading the first timothy and uh, Father God, as we continue to read your love letter for us today, help us, Lord, to understand, Father. Give us, O oh Lord God, the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, O oh Lord God, as we continue to read your love letter for us today. Hallelujah. Jesus, Holy Spirit, you are with us right now and help us as we read your word in Jesus' mighty name. The name of all names we pray. Amen and Amen. Come on, Hal. Let's continue on reading the second Timothy uh, first chapter. Chapter one. Greetings from Paul. This letter is from Paul, chosen by the will of God to be an apostle of Christ Jesus. I have been sent out to tell others about the life he has promised through faith in Christ Jesus. I am writing to Timothy, my dear son, may God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord, give you grace, mercy, and peace. Thank you, Lord. Encouragement to be faithful. Timothy, I thank God for you. The God I serve with a clear conscience, just as my ancestors did. Night and day, I constantly remember you in my prayers. I long to see you again, for I remember your tears as we parted, and I will be filled with joy when we are together again. I remember your genuine faith, for you share the faith that first filled our... I remember your genuine faith, for you share the faith that first filled your grandmother Louise, and your mother Eunice. And I know that same faith continues strong in you. This is why I remind you to fan into flames the spiritual gift God gave you when I laid my hands on you. For God has not given you, has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. So I never be ashamed to tell others about our Lord. And don't be ashamed of me either, even though I'm in prison for Him. With the strength God gives me, already to suffer with me for the sake of the good news. For God saved us and called us to live in a holy life. He did this not just 
we deserve it, but because that was his plan for from before the beginning of time to show us his grace through Jesus Christ. And now he has made all of this plain to us by the appearing of Christ Jesus our Savior. He broke the power of death and illuminated the way to life and immortality through the good news. Amen. Hallelujah. And God chose me to be a preacher, an apostle, and a teacher of this good news. That is why I am suffering here in prison, but I am not ashamed of it, for I know the one in whom I trust, and I am sure that he is able to guard what I have entrusted to him until the day of his return. Thank you, Father. Hold on to the pattern. Hallelujah. Hold on to the pattern of, the, of wholesome teaching you learned from me, a pattern shaped by the faith and love that you have in Christ Jesus through the power of the Holy Spirit who lives within us. Carefully guard the precious truth that has been entrusted in that has been entrusted to you. Amen. Thank you, Father. Oh, hallelujah. As you know, everyone from the province of Asia has deserted me. Even Figelos and Hermogenes. May the Lord show special kindness to Unicephorus. Unif and all his family because he often visited and encouraged me. He was never ashamed of me because I was in chains. When he came to Rome, he searched everywhere until he found me. May the Lord show him special kindness on the day of Christ's return. And you know very well how helpful he was in Ephesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, for your word. Thank you, Lord, that from, a, for, from the letter of Apostle Paul to Timothy, and although he is not the real son, he is the spiritual son of Apostle Paul, and that, Lord, we are so blessed, O oh God, that we too are spiritual son and daughters of Apostle Paul as well. Thank you, Father, we are so blessed, and it was Timothy who he shared the message, this letter, but it is also for us. Amen. You can read this again by yourself and be blessed. Have a nice day. God bless and take care. Let's read again tomorrow. And if any one of you has not received the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, today is the day of salvation. Don't wait until tomorrow. Come, let's receive him right now from our hearts, deep from our hearts. Amen. Lord Jesus, I need you. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. I open the door of my life and receive you as my Savior and Lord. I repent of my sin.